I sort of know it here at Committee Wood Craftsman uh, on the Fossmobile engine cowl we're getting uh, prepared to uh, take this uh, uh, bending ply uh, generously provided by Columbia Forest Products uh, for the Fossmobile project and we have to bend this around this curve and through this uh, concave. We have a, con a convex curve coming around like this into a concave. Now, as you bend it around, you can hear all kinds of cracking. And it freaks you out a little bit when you hear that. But it's really, it's designed to do that. For the most part, this stuff is designed to have a finished veneer over top of it. Because we're painting this engine cowl black, We'll bend this around, yet yeah, it'll, it'll crack uh, along the grain and, and the open up, but we'll use uh, West System Epoxy, uh, also generously provided for the Fossil Deal project, um, and we'll use a 407 filler in the West System Epoxy, and we'll basically epoxy this, this whole, all these radiuses where they go through and crack open. And the 407 filler is sandable, so we'll be able to sand that down to a, a nice smooth and fair curve. little video here for this uh, bending ply. We need to check that our uh, negative uh, form here to push that ply in place is actually going to do the job. Uh, the way we do that is we cut a little wee a test strip with the grain oriented in the right direction. And we want to be sure that we've got a nice solid seat in there. Uh, preparing to uh, clamp the, uh, the front panel on. Uh, as you can see by this piece here, the front panel of bending ply and the top rail are now a single unit. This apparatus I decided to put together just to, well I needed to, I needed to move my clamps. I couldn't clamp over, over this piece. I needed to get the clamps out to here, so um, the clamps go from these from these bars here that are clamped on up to these bars. That's basically it. We're 